Makers, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a beautiful gourd pumpkin tutorial. My paint colors today are a fire red, yellow, blue, green, brown, black, and white. I also have some mixing plates to mix up all my colors. I have a container for water, I have some paper towels, and I'm working with three different paint brushes today. The first brush that I have is a nice big square flat brush. The second one's also flat brush, but it's a little smaller and more round at the end. And my last brush is a nice small pointed brush for all my fine details. First step is our background. We're gonna be making this sort of like mauve reddish pinkish color for our background and blending it with some white. So let's grab our big square flat brush and a mixing plate. We're gonna to mix together a nice big scoop or two of white, a little bit of our fire red, and a very small touch of black. We're gonna mix those up until we get something, something similar to here. You can feel free to add a little bit more red if you want it to be a little bit more vibrant. Once you get the color that you like, we are going to be taking this and we're going to randomly swish it throughout all of the edges of our canvas. So top edge, bottom edge, side edges, um, no rhyme or rhythm to the way that I'm brushing it in, sort of just like randomly throwing brush strokes throughout the edges. You wanna do this fairly quickly though, cause we are going to be blending some paint on top of it and we don't want it to dry up too quickly. So whisk that in very quickly, then get a nice clean brush. Then what we're gonna be doing is getting into some more white paint and we're gonna use that to blend out those edges a little bit into the center or just really to fill up those empty spaces. Um, try not to paint right directly in the middle of our canvas. Leave a nice little oval egg shape there in the middle because we don't want wet paint there so that we can focus on painting in our gourds next. Now for these pumpkins, we have three. Uh, they're all different colors, different sizes. I'm gonna be starting with the smallest one first. So I'm gonna be grabbing my small round pointed brush, grabbing a scoop of white or two scoops of white and a very, very small touch of my blue. Mix those up to get a very pale baby blue. And then I'm gonna be taking just a small amount of green, add that in to give it more of a sea foam type of color. Something around here. Now for this pumpkin, I'm gonna be figuring out where I want the center of it to be. It's like the bottom right hand corner almost. Starting with this nice oval egg shape as the center part for my pumpkin. Once I have that shape in there, then I'm gonna be adding sort of like a backward C shape over on the right side and the C shape over on the left side, almost like little parentheses. Um, this almost makes it seem like I have a few ovals or a few eggs that are just sort of sitting behind each other. I'm gonna do that once or twice per side. Then along the top edge, I'm going to be painting in two little bumps, two little lumps to show the back texture of the pumpkin. Once I have that there, then we're going to be mixing a slightly darker version of the color we were just using by adding some more blue and green to cancel out some of the white. And from the bottom edge, we're gonna be flicking up with these curved lines going with the curved of the ovals that we created. So again, starting from the bottom and flicking upwards. This is going to give us a lovely uh, shadow effect for our pumpkin. And I'm also gonna be adding these shadow lines into the back uh, couple lumps that I have there. You can see I almost drew like a little W and then I'm flicking up into the two bumps. So that is my first pumpkin for now. We will add more things to it later, but next we're gonna be coming to our second pumpkin. And for this one, I'm simply just going to take a nice big scoop of green, add it to the mixture I had for my first pumpkin. And my second pumpkin is gonna be a lot taller, 
Um, I would say about twice as tall, and it's gonna be over on the left side. Again, starting with a lovely oval shape, and then adding the backward C, C shape, um, front way C shape to the other side uh, to create the pumpkin uh, shape. And just don't forget that this pumpkin is sitting behind the first pumpkin we made. So when your line reaches the pumpkin, don't go over top of it. You wanna stop and go around it. Now once we get that pumpkin filled up, then we are going to be adding some shadow lines with simply just adding some more uh, green paint to our brush. Just plain green paint, flicking it up from the bottom edge and a little bit into those back couple lumps and bumps. Now our last pumpkin is the tallest one. Sitting in the back, it's a lovely yellow shade. So I'm gonna get a nice clean pointed brush and we're gonna start off by grabbing a little scoop of white to start off, a little scoop of white. And then we're gonna grab a nice big scoop of yellow and a very small touch of our fire red. Then I'm gonna mute it down just a touch with a little bit of brown. So now we have this lovely goldeny shade of yellow. Now this pumpkin is sitting in between the two and in the back and it's a lot different in shape. So you're going to come up and just curve about two or three bumps and then bring it back down. And it sort of cinches in the middle like it has a waist. Don't forget, this is sitting behind the pumpkins so you don't want to paint over top of them, but around them. For the shadowing, we are gonna be taking some brown paint and mixing that into our golden yellow make something a little bit darker, a little bit more just like a honey brown. And instead of the way that we did the other two pumpkins, this one is sort of catered just for it. So you can see I'm starting on the left side, starting at the bottom, flicking upwards in this little corner here. And I'll bring these flicks pretty much all the way over to the other side. And you can see some lines are longer, some lines are shorter. You don't want them all to be the same. And I'm also gonna be putting a little bit higher up on that top left-hand corner. Now I'm gonna be taking that honey brown and putting it into some of my other pumpkins. So to that light blue pumpkin that I have, I'm gonna take a little bit of that honey brown and put a couple of lines just along that bottom edge, a couple tiny little flicks down on the bottom. Then I'm gonna be getting back into that light blue shade that I had. I need to mix up some more, feel free to add more to your palette if you need to. Taking a little bit, I'm just gonna flick a couple of lines of it throughout the top ridges of my darker green pumpkin. You can see I'm starting from that top middle area, flicking downwards with a nice curve like the pumpkin has. Now we're gonna add some highlights to all of our pumpkins. So with a small pointed brush, make sure it's nice and clean. We're gonna grab some white paint and to our light blue pumpkin, we're flicking some white down from the tops of each of those ridges um, to really highlight the tops of them. The white is also gonna be what really makes the little divots and rivets of the yellow pumpkin stand out. So you can see I drew sort of this like rainbow uh, hill shape there. And then from there I can make my other little curves, other little hills, and do a couple of the same flicking lines that I did in my blue pumpkin. my dark green pumpkin, I'm gonna be getting back into the golden yellow shade that we made for the base of the yellow pumpkin and throwing a couple random little lines uh, through the top edges of that pumpkin. And then 
then with a clean pointed brush, taking some white, we're gonna add a few just last little highlight lines along the top ridges of my dark green pumpkin. Now my yellow pumpkin has a bunch of little little pimples, little dots, little bumps. So going back into the original color that we used, that golden yellow, and putting some dots throughout the areas that are more brown so that these really stick out. You can feel free to even put some along the edges to make it seem more 3D and like that texture is all wrapping around it. To make those bumps seem 3D, I'm going to be getting back into that honey brown and drawing a C shape along the left edge of each of those bumps. And lastly, for the little bumps to make them shine even brighter, I'm just going to be taking my brush, digging a little bit of white and adding just a few little white highlights to a couple of them. Not all of them, just a few of them. And then we're gonna be adding some shadows to the bottom of our pumpkin. So a clean pointed brush. I am going to be getting into my black paint and we are going to be flicking out horizontal lines starting from the leftmost pumpkin, that darker green pumpkin. I'm drawing these little lines to sort of mimic what a shadow might look like underneath of them. Um, as you can see, some lines stick out more than others. We don't want just like a block of black paint under them. So do a bunch of these little lines, create the base of your shadow, and then you can always fill it in darker right underneath each of the pumpkins. Next, we want to add the stems to our pumpkins. These almost remind me of like little tiny witch hats. So you think of a witch hat, you think it's really thick at the base where it goes on your head, and then it gets really thin and pointy and kind of curves over at the top. This is kind of what we're going for. Now the pumpkin that's all the way in the back, that yellow pumpkin is the exception. This one has more of a top hat look where it's more squared at the top and less pointy. Now with the black paint, I'm going to really make those ridges of each pumpkin really stand out. So you can see I'm doing these black lines that are curved with each of those backward C shapes, frontward C shapes, that kind of stuff. Um, you won't do it on every single edge. It's not like we're making this look super cartoony. We're just adding a little bit more definition to parts of the pumpkin. Now we want to add some highlights into the stems with a little bit of color, right? Uh, these colorful gourds need just a little bit of extra pop of color. So I'm going to be getting back into my light blue that I used for my first pumpkin in my pointed brush that's nice and clean, and throwing a couple lines of this throughout the stem of my blue pumpkin. I'm also going to add a few lines of this in my yellow pumpkin stem and my green pumpkin stem. Feel free to add as many or a few of these lines as you like. Then we're going to be taking that honey brown again and throwing a couple lines within the stems as well. And that is the last and final step to creating this beautiful, colorful gourd painting. We'd love to see what you've painted at home. Feel free to post on social media and tag us at muse underscore paint bar so we can check them out. And if you want to see more from our channel, make sure you like and subscribe. And with that, don't forget to always paint outside the lines.